Clark. Seven rows back on the inside. The 79, that's Jayla Grave. Outside, 86, young Amber Turner. The 77, New York's Chris Clark, 22B. Pete Blaney, three, Rob Sines, 49. It's Jason Ledoux, 88, Dave Demore. And the 76 is Barco. They race into turn number one. And with the lead from the top of the racetrack is the 66 of Robert Foley. Foley in that number 66 has the nose out in front. And Chad Collins coming back on the inside. We got a uh, we got a little taste of Spanish B there for lap number one as they're three wide and the yellow flag is out. Well, Jason, modifieds. Uh, I believe nine, nineteen uh, on track now. And one just went back to the garage area. I don't know if anybody anybody have problems in practice, perhaps. One uh, car? There, well, there's twenty one. It's uh, one driver that didn't start last week. Got three. Flag is out. Collins down on the inside. Much better time through one and two this time. We're going to make it three wide through the middle. That's Dirty Dale. O'Neill threads the needle through the middle. He runs in the third spot, but Johnny Bradley's coming back at down on the inside. They're three wide. Look out. Kane Favreau sideways. Hold on to it, Kane. No. Oh boy, heads up. He goes sliding up into the wall in turn number four. Yellow flags are going to come out. And he has that number 20 fired back towards the track. Well, that doesn't look good. Here they go, trying to go one more time. It's the 16 of O'Neill, 22 of Collins. Here they come. Off turn number four. Look at Real, three wide already in the back of the back. Green, flag is out. It's Dirty Deal from the inside. He takes the lead. Look at a little bit of contact mid-back. The 13 of Martin, he got in the 45B of Laporte. Laporte was able to correct it. No problem for him. I think that was just a case of racing for the same real estate, and they ran out of room. And here they come off of turn number four. O'Neill's going to lead lap number one. Tyson Drown's getting a little bit of a bump draft in the back of the 45B of Laporte. Laporte in that 45B is looking down to the inside of Collins in the 22, but Collins using that progressive banking to his favor. Three wide move perhaps down on the inside by Laporte. Laporte, little bump to the back of Tyson Drown. Collins drifts big time up the track. And look at this, Eric Real threading the needle, making it three wide off of turn number four. He races his way now into the top five. Oh, a little bit of a push that time for the 0-2 of Riel in turn number two. Here comes uh, Rob Clark through the middle. Clark tries to thread the needle, but that hole closes quickly. As I believe Riel's 0-2 knew he was coming, and he got down and shut the door. Well, Dale O'Neill is looking to become the first repeat driver in any division here at Airborne. We've run 15 feature events to this point in the season. We have not yet had a repeat winner. Dale O'Neill would like to become the first. He's out in front, and uh, another driver, Eric Riel, moving towards the front. He also has a victory in this mini modified division. Well, right now it's looking pretty good for him out front for O'Neill. A little bit of contact mid pack. Tyson Drown's car seems to be just a bit off as they've been trying to get down to the inside, just haven't found room. Now they've got room as that car washed up off of turn number four. Out front it is still Dale O'Neill. Running seconds, Johnny Bradley. Third is the 45B of Laporte. Fourth is Eric Real. Fifth right now is Ty Drown down on the inside with LaVarnway trying to get around him on the top of the racetrack. And here comes Chris, the 54 down on the bottom. That time at the line, the fifth spot belonged to LaVarnway. They race side by side for the fifth spot. Now it's going to be three wide as they drop back now racing for the sixth spot. Passing flag is out for the uh, number 76 of Dennis Barco. As Dale O'Neill quickly coming up on him. Tyson Brown was a little bit sideways that time off of number four. Made a little bit of contact with Rob Clark. Those three cars are able to get by him and drop kick uh, the six back to about the eighth spot. Here comes Rob Clark now down to the inside of the 13 for the fifth spot. Also bringing uh, him through down on the inside, the 54 of Jason Chris. That car pushes a little bit off of turn number four. A little bit of contact with LeVarnway, and LeVarnway just gave it back to him down the front stretch. Out in front, it is still Dale O'Neill. He's finally gotten around Barcombe. Running second right now is the 69 of Johnny Bradley. Looking down on the inside of Bradley is the 45B of Laporte. Bradley's, Bradley's trying to set a pick. Look at Barcombe right in the middle of the track. Bradley kind of got snookered as he took the highway around. There's Bollum in turn number four. The 88 and 22 go around. The yellow flag is going to come out. They are set to go again. We are halfway through this first feature. We have eight down and seven to go. Here they come. Good start for O'Neill down on the inside. Green, flag is out. Report trying to get down to the inside, but the door 
not there. The 69 of Johnny Bradley got his nose down underneath. Wasn't able to shut the door. But this time off of turn number two, the 45B sails away. And the 69's trying to hang on with a 0-2 of Rio. Rio from the top takes the third spot away and now is charging on the back bumper of LaPorte. It's still Dale O'Neill out front. That car seems to be pretty good tonight. Amber Turner's around and turns one and two. She's able to keep it going. And we will stay under green. Looking at the battle out front, there is none. It's Dale O'Neill, but right now with the second spot, LaPorte is barely holding off the 0-2 of Reels. Reels had a couple of looks off of turn number two and turn number four. Three wide now for the fourth spot. It's the 14 of Clark on the uh, very bottom, the 69 Bradley in the middle, and the three, or the 54, excuse me, of Chris on the very top. Still three wide. A little bit of contact that time. He skips a tire, and it's going to slow up the 69 of Johnny Bradley. Running into Bradley is his teammate, the 22 of Collins. They might be hooked. Look out. Look out again. And oh, one more time. Well, started over in turn number three. Ended up being a problem for Johnny Bradley in turn number one. Here they come. O'Neill with a slow pace. Now he gets on it down on the inside of turn number four. Green flag is out and another good start for O'Neill. Laporte quickly goes right down to the inside. Laporte pushing him with that uh, front pusher on that number 45B, but he just vaults him ahead about a car length and a half. Into turn number three, it's still O'Neill gets a little bit sideways. The 45B of Laporte tries to get there. Here comes the O2 of Riel down to the inside. Riel backs out of that uh, potential move down to the inside of the 45B. Now this time off of two, the 45B washes up at the track big time. The O2 of Riel comes through down on the inside, and Chris is looking to tag along the back bumper. This time around, the popsicle sticks are going to be out for the 16 of Dale O'Neill. Dale O'Neill looking to become the first repeat winner here at Airborne in the 2013 season. And it's looking pretty good for him right now. The battle for third is on right now. Look out, Pete Blaney off the back stretch. He's uh, over towards Subway in the sign. Yellow flag is going to come out. Perhaps Pete Blaney was looking for dinner. He ran over to that Subway sign, but that's not a drive through That's just a billboard. Well, our, one of our presenting... All right, 13 down, two to go. It is O'Neill and Riel. Riel's been washing up sometimes in turn number four. I have to watch that. Here they come. O'Neill with another great restart. Green, flag is out. He left the 2 of Eric Riel standing at the altar. And the 16 is off and down the backstretch. They're side by side for the second spot once again. They play bumper tag down the backstretch mid-pack as the 13 of LaVarnway appears to be off the pace. Here comes Dale O'Neill off of turn number four. White flag is out for Dale O'Neill. One more to go. Crash Laporte has retaken that second spot away from the 2 of Riel. Although Riel this time could run off of turn number two. Rio with that 0-2, half a car length in front for the second spot. And he pushes up the track in turn number four. If Laporte can hang on down on the bottom, he'll be good for the second spot. Dale O'Neill's going to win it, though. It's going to be Rio second, Laporte third, fourth to Chris. And uh, rounding up the top five is going to be Rob Clark in that 14 New York. Unbuckle, and here he comes. Let's give a nice round of applause for Dale O'Neill. First repeat winner in 2013. Dale, the car seemed pretty good. Uh, many drivers tonight, it seems as though their car's pushing in turns of, off of turn number four and off of turn number two, but it seems like your 16's pretty hooked up. Yeah, well, I was dealing with a push myself, but it's kind of tough off four because there's a little water on the bottom, so it makes your tires slide, but it was pretty good. Talk about your strategy on the restarts. Uh, every single restart, it seemed as though you are pretty good. You were able to clear uh, the uh, partner to your outside and a nice job on the restarts. Talk about your strategy on the restarts. Yeah, they got to go on my pace, so it kind of gives me an advantage. I get a jump on them when I get back in the gas. They have to react to me, so it was all right. All right, well, congratulations on win number two in 2013. Thank you. That's Dale O'Neill, first repeat winner in 2013. All right, so congratulations to Dale O'Neill. They'll finish up down in victory lane with... Uh, Photographs of the top three finishing drivers in the Mini Modifieds. 
Again, they'll be out later on in tonight's racing card for their second 15-lap feature event. Point standings coming into the completion of this first race for the Ernie's Discount Tools Dirt Car Modifieds find Todd Stone atop the points. And Todd will be starting on point at the as we resume this race, 10 laps in, 20 laps remaining. He has a 14-point lead over Jesse Mueller. Mueller, of course, was involved in uh, one of the incidents over in turn number two at the start of the 30-lap race last Saturday night. So he will be running at the back of the pack in this race some 10 laps down uh, as he did not complete a lap with the incident happening before a lap was complete. And uh, he will be charging from uh, deep in the pack and will not be looking at a, a real solid finish. So he's going to lose ground to Todd Stone, who again will be starting on point as we resume the race 10 laps in. George Foley was running in the second position through 10 laps. Patrick Dupree, third. Andy.